Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you all the NHL 16 news that has been shown to us by EA, as well as some other stuff that has been shown on other websites and such. So we're going to get into the first thing that is ESHL is coming back to NHL 16, and I'm really excited because that was by far my favorite game mode, and probably a lot of other people, if not their favorite game mode, because Hut's now the biggest one, obviously. It was their second favorite one right behind Hut. Uh, ESHL was so much fun, and the only game mode they could play with a bunch of friends, really, and... I think one of the greatest sports game modes out of all the sports, like Hut obviously is good, but I'd say Foot, well I don't know about this year because of all the stuff that's happened, but Foot was probably a bit better or a year advanced than Hut. But ESHL, there's no other real games that are like that or was as good as that, and I'm really happy they brought it back. Some things that people might not like, if you haven't seen this obviously, I think most of you guys have probably seen most of this stuff, but there is now preset builds, there's no more attributes or stuff like that, you can't actually like customize your guy in terms of his stats and stuff, so some people might not like that, and I could see why you don't. At first, I was like, eh, I don't really know if I like that, but in the long run, the stats were just, they made the game really imbalanced. You could buy the game and then spend like $60 on those boosts and stuff, and then your guy has a huge advantage over someone else, or you get to Legend 3 and you have a huge advantage over someone else. It's just, I think that it makes the game so much more balanced and more competitive, and overall, I, I, I think like that a lot. I think that's really cool. Change it up every now and then, and see what works for your team and how you play, because teamwork's gonna be really huge this year. You're not gonna just have, uh, like, three snipers going in. You probably won't be able to do that good. Maybe you need a playmaker and two-way and a sniper on your line, and then one offensive and one defensive defenseman, and a goalie. I'm not sure how goalie's gonna work, because they didn't even have goalie last year besides just, uh, like, manually controlling it and stuff like that. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work. And I'm not sure what the difference is going to be for, like, hybrid and stuff like that. But I'm, I, I hope there's more than just the, like, sniper build. Like, I hope there's, like, different types of builds, which I might sound stupid or whatnot. But I think there should be more than just the, like, there should be, like, different types of builds. Like, maybe, like, a kind of, like, a checking sniper build. Like, combine them. I don't know how they would do that. And I don't know if it makes any sense. But I just think the more builds, the better to change it up a bit and find like the perfect position because now that you can't completely customize your guy there's only going to be like five or six forwards that you could choose from and stuff like that next is otp is coming back which is really really good i know some people might be like okay it's just otp i don't really care just pick it up and play but that really adds competitiveness as well because of lg and all those leagues and stuff which i finally joined last year and that was really 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 fun and i'm gonna do it again if it comes back this year which i'm assuming it will so i'm really excited for that and just just ESHL being back is honestly, that's all they needed really. And I'm really happy about that because that was by far my most played game mode. And I really liked playing that with all the clubs I was on and stuff like that. Won a lot of stuff. I actually felt like it was by far the best game mode, the most fun game mode. Hut is fun and stuff like that and making your team, but sometimes Hut got frustrating and stuff like that. And you can only play like by yourself basically, or like 1v1. And ESHL you can play with friends and stuff like that, and that's the I find that the most fun. Next is online couch co-op, which, to be honest, doesn't really, like, I don't really have friends come over and like, yo, you want to play NHL? If friends are coming over, we're usually not playing Xbox. So that's just basically, you could play with other people with you, and then you could just do, like, OTP, I believe, stuff like that. So that's semi-cool, but to me, it's not that big. Next is be a GM player morale, which I like this a lot. I'm not really sure how it's going to work, but it's going to add, like, how players' trade values work. Um, it's going to not just work on you have Ovechkin, Crosby, and Malkin, your team is going to win. It's going to work on teammate relationships. It's going to work on how the players work well together, how they mix along with each other, and just like chemistry is going to mean a lot more. And you could also call team meetings and adjust your roster directly. That affects your team on the ice performance, which don't really know too much about. I wish they could have explained that more. But basically, I think GM mode's going to get a pretty big uh, revamp not revamp but that feature is really cool next is be a pro basically there's just bringing back what they had from uh live the life which is you could sim shifts and you could start from the chl and like you're ready to the nhl so that's all right don't really care about that too much uh, hut is going to add single player seasons which is like fifa which is really good and they're also bringing back play a friend which is really really big never really thought that play a friend mode would be out and thought that would be like that big of a like disappointment like that it wasn't there but it was clearly a disappointment not playing friends in hut was very frustrating you can work away make your way around it but really frustrating wagers were completely gone because of that basically i mean you could make it work but it wasn't as easy it's a lot more time consuming and it counted as a loss and stuff like that but now play a friends there which is awesome and 
Next is visual on ice training. I don't really know if they're really adding anything new for this. I don't really, cause I'm pretty sure they say that like every year, like there's new stuff here, but it's just like a training tool, like a practice mode, I guess. There's visual aids that you could do shooting targets, passing lanes, open teammates, stuff like that. Not really sure exactly how that's gonna work either, but that seems pretty cool. Next for me anyway, was really huge is precision, pre, excuse my French, precision skating. And I asked a few people if they liked the skating in NHL 15. Most of them said they didn't mind it. They thought it was good. To me, I did not really like the skating at all. It just felt, I don't know if sloppy was the word, but it didn't feel smooth. Sometimes it did, but like when you turned your guy just, I didn't like it really. I don't know if it's just me. I hope it's not just me, but if it is, then there's something wrong with me and I'm sorry, but I did not like the skating and they're just going to uh, change the skating a bit and make it better and more smooth. So I'm really happy for that. And I mean, if they're going to add that feature, I don't think I'm the only one who had a problem with that. Next is seamless puck pickups. And that happened so much for me where perfect pass, the guy just wouldn't pick up the puck and bounce over him. Stuff like that was annoying and I'm happy they fixed it. Not really a feature they should be talking about. That could just be something they slide in to make it better, but that's a feature they talked about. So I guess there you go. There's now a distinct team arena atmosphere, so there's now going to be props specific to that arena. There's going to be mascots. I'm not sure if there's a mascot for every team or there's going to be added one, but anyway, that's pretty cool. Nothing too huge, but definitely add, uh, add to the game a bit. Next is story-driven commentary. So basically, it says that the game will be, uh, they're going to redo some of the commentary stuff and it'll be more exciting. That's basically what I got out of it. So instead of Doc just casually saying scores, it's going to be like he does on TV and stuff like that. How you're used to hearing him say it, like playoff hockey stuff. So it's going to be more exciting, which is really cool. Next is Superstar Authenticity, which is now enhanced facial features and new equipment. And I think that's really cool. They added so much customization. There's now like six different uh, tapes you could do for your stick. There's also the the tape around the stick and stuff like that. You could change, you could change the color of your laces, not just with like the really weird uh, those the color wheel. It wasn't a color wheel. It was like really annoying and weird because it took forever if you wanted to get like color. Now there's just a big color wheel. There's new visors. There's colored laces. There's colored. There's a lot of colored stuff with different colored sticks. Now you could do well for the tape, not just like the. I think they only had like eight colors last time. Now there's a giant color wheel, so you can get so many different colors, which is really cool. Adds a lot to the customization. I'm not sure what the gear they're going to add. I think they said they're adding more, but I'm hoping they do because, in my opinion, a lot of the gear was lacking. There was not that much stuff to pick from, so I'm hoping that's cool. Another thing that, to be honest, when I heard about that, I was like, eh, I don't really care. But after seeing pictures and all this stuff on it, it looks really, really cool, and I like it a lot. It looks really good. Is playoff beards and just customization with playoff, uh, with not with playoff, with just with beards. So it looks really good. You could change the length of it, the thickness, the all this stuff, and it just looks good, and I like it a lot. Um, next, that thing that they did not talk about is you could switch goalies in hut. So let's say you are playing a wager or something like that, and your goalie starts playing bad. It doesn't even have to be a wager. You could play online like a ranked game. Your goalie's playing bad, you have a backup, you couldn't put him in ever, you can never even change him in any NHL, I don't think they had that in any NHL for Hut. Now you can change the goalie so you could switch him, which is really cool. Also, Action Tracker is being brought back. Not many people talked about that much last year when it wasn't there, but I liked it a lot, I thought it was really good. And now it is back again, and it looks a bit better. Also, the menus, I really like them, I know it's pretty similar to NHL 15, but the white and stuff like that, it just looks really good. That's basically all the stuff that was shown and to be honest, my first thoughts were, I really like ESHL being back. That is so cool. The preset builds are going to make the game really competitive and you're going to have to play a lot to get good and like just like get chemistry and stuff like that. And I like how they take away the pay to win basically with the boost and stuff. Play a friend back for Hut. That's good. And be a GM is huge because I love GM and that's going to add a lot to it. And then next for me is precision skating, which is going to add so much. And I'm really happy for that. And another one that's kind of a, uh, many people might not really care about, but the commentary, I was so excited when I heard Doc was going to be in it last year. I think it was last year that they added that, but a lot of people were let down because he just seemed emotionless for a lot of it. And now that story driven commentary is being added, if it turns out how it should be, it should make the game a lot more exciting and stuff like that. And lastly is going to be all the customization they're bringing in. Seems like it's going to be a really good, really exciting year in my opinion. ESHL being back is huge. That that literally makes the game double in like how much I'll play it probably, at least double. Because I did not play this year a lot and I'm really excited for this year. Really hoping NHL 16 is going to be huge and I hope you guys are excited for it. Any more news that comes out, I'll try bringing it to you guys. And if not, 
you guys have other websites, other YouTubers, other stuff like that. But if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. And I honestly want to know your comments and opinions and suggestions and all this stuff about NHL 16. Are you excited for it? Where do you think is going to be? This or that. What else do you think they're going to add? And just overall, your final thoughts on it. And it should be coming out soon. It'll be out in September. NHL 16 will be out on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, not the 360 or the PS3, so I'm sorry about that, but NHL Legacy, which I'm not sure about what that is, will be on the 360 and the PlayStation 3, so I'll be bringing you guys more information on that, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it means a lot, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.